Ranking the best left outside linebackers in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to update left outside linebackers. Now, right before we do want to head jump to the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. And I want to talk about like the AP update, how things have changed. And to be honest, I think everyone is still in the same exact spot. I don't really think anyone needs to come down from S. I just think now the zero AP abilities are really, really valuable. The one person I could see coming down if you want to make the argument would be Shaquille Leonard with the unstoppable force because I don't think he gets a great zero AP ability like he gets run stopper gets inside stuff and I believe no outsiders as well but I do still think you can somewhat justify running an unstoppable force for me he's not clear cut the best pass rusher in the game anymore I actually think every non aka card got a lot more usable because of the AP update and some people will argue against that and say that the AKAs are even more pow powerful now let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and also I'm still a big time fan of TJ Watt and Carl Carlos Dunlap with the uh, zero AP pick artist on the defensive line. Now we're going to get it started right here with the first card. We got 92 overall Dawson Knox at left outside linebacker. He's 90 speed, has really good finesse moves, not really great power moves, not great block shed, not great impact blocking, and can't really play zone. So he's a pass rusher. And for traits for left outside linebacker, this is what we're looking for on yes. Really depends if they're a pass coverage player or a pass rusher. This card is a pass rusher. So we'd like all three of these on yes. And obviously 99 and 99 for finesse and power moves. No pass rush traits on yes is pretty rough and if you can get like big hitter clutch high motor you would want it on yes but it's not like the end of the world having these on no and for his abilities he doesn't really get anything discounted so this card isn't great he's more of just like a fun card for me he is just gonna go in this f tier again just no real discounts or anything if he would have got even like a zero ap speedster i would have put him d after that we got a couple rookie cards first one up right here is 95 overall Derek hall he was picked in round two pick 37 by the seahawks 90 speed 94 excel has really good power moves not the best Best finesse moves in the world and for blockchain impact blocking it's pretty solid as well now for his traits he is someone that does have the bull rush trait on yes and swim move on yes this is actually a card you would prefer to just have the bull rush trait on yes since his power moves are really high and his finesse moves are a little bit lower and for his abilities he gets literally everything for one ap so this is tough though do y'all justify spending an ap on a defensive lineman that is not an unstoppable force i don't know if i can at this point like i mean edge try to lead double or nothing for one or like inside stuff there's just so many cards in the game that to get that stuff for zero so it makes these like second round rookies third round like second through seventh round rookies uh, a little bit less valuable than they they probably should have been for me he is going mm, this is kind of tough Shaquille Leonard's other card does have every team cam and he does get secure tackler for zero this is tough I, I'm actually gonna move him to D right to that we have Isaiah Foskey right here picked round two pick number 40 by the New Orleans Saints and has pretty good speed 92 has 96 acceleration has pretty good finesse moves power moves not really too good and has good block check good impact blocking and for his traits he once again has bull rush and swim move on yes and this is a card that you would want like swim move and spin move on yes and bull rush on no given his finesse moves are actually pretty decent and once again though it's the same exact thing he gets everything for one ap and honestly doesn't even get that good of abilities compared to their call like doesn't get a double or nothing doesn't get an extra elite so for me uh they are going to be on the same tier but i do like their call a little bit more i'm going to put him in the d tier after that we get bj ulawarie and i no, I just butchered that last name. I always do. I do the same thing for Aziz too. I don't know why. English is hard sometimes, but he has a 93 speed. He has really great physical stats across the board. Like you'll notice for the most part, agility and change of direction are lower on a lot of like linebacker cards, but not for him. Has great finesse moves. Again, power moves are a little bit lower and great block shed, great impact blocking. Now for his traits, he has the same exact traits as every card we covered. I hate that they do that for rookies. So they're all really going to play on the same level. And this time for his abilities, he's very similar to the card we just covered in Isaiah Foskey doesn't really get the great abilities I like this card stats a lot I like his physical stats a lot I just wish the power moves were a little bit higher so for me he is gonna be uh once again in this D tier after that we get Nolan Smith Nolan Smith picked in round one pick 30 by the uh Georgia Eagles and this card is super interesting because he also got this combine card right here that is super super good plus two overall he can be 99 speed right now with the sugar rush track card has amazing finesse and power moves and block shit and impact blocking the thing on this card though okay we need to compare them to this card because obviously like they, they are the same they made this card a lot worse no pass rush traits on yes and if we look at this old nolan smith combine card guess what he had way way better traits and that card also gets every single team kim this card though for abilities he is someone that can get a speedster or unpredictable for zero and this old nolan smith right here he could actually get speedster once again for zero he couldn't get unpredictable for zero but i mean speedster for zero uh to me 
I think his new card, this uh, 97 right here, is worse than his old one. I think they're on the same tier, but I do think he is worse than his old card. Crazy enough. Honestly, would it be crazy to put him a tier below his old card? I think it would. And I talked about pass rush traits a lot, but this card actually still will probably play really, really good. It, he kind of reminds me of that John Madden defensive tackle card that again, doesn't have any pass rush traits on. Yes, you would think he doesn't play good, but he just is an absolute beast. So I could see this card playing really, really good, but I would prefer to run this one right here over his uh, 97. And right after that, we have uh, Felix. I have no idea how to say his last name, but literally picked the pick after uh, Nolan Smith to the Kansas City Chiefs. Six foot for 255 run stopper with 92 speed 95 excel pretty good finesse moves with 90s but power moves are a little bit low and has great blockchain and impact blocking though and if we take a look at his traits though has spin and swim move on yes so that's actually good for this card his, his finesse moves obviously aren't still like top end they aren't like 99 like we're used to seeing on like a lot of cards but you don't really have to worry about this power move rating given he only has these uh, finesse moves on yes so this should lead to him playing a lot better than you might think and for his abilities this time he can get defensive rally or run stopper for zero i like the defensive rally for zero i'm not saying he's like uh, the best in the game or anything right i think he's pretty solid i think he's a tier worse than like nolan smith's card so i'm gonna go ahead and put him in the b tier and right after that we have the final rookie of the video we got lucas van ness right here 98 overall he's six foot five power rusher with 91 speed 94 excel has pretty good physical stats across the board this time a really good balance of finesse and power moves with 94 and 98 an amazing block shot and amazing impact blocking so far the best stats wise we covered so far and for his traits he has every single pass rush trait on yes which again is really really nice so traits and stats wise amazing and for his ability he's interesting tackle supreme for zero i think is the thing that i would run on him so he offers you something that you know is a little bit different than pass rushers in the game right now like if we take a look at everyone in s tier i don't believe any of them get like tackle supreme or secure tackler for zero so for that reason, he is going to be S tier for me. And the reason for that is he's situationally S tier. Like if you're playing up against like the AKA X factors, I think I would prefer him over like everyone in this tier because again, they won't break like the first tackle with that tackle supreme ability. But as a pure pass rusher, I'd probably put him A. But again, situationally in the run game, he's going to be S tier given that tackle supreme ability. Now right after that, we have 99 overall Mike Evans of the backer of Baller promo. So he's six foot five speed rusher, has 99 speed, which is a free agent track card. So once the sugar rush one leaves, he will still be 99 speed he's absolutely amazing physical stats wise has great finesse moves the power moves are a little bit low but pretty good block shit pretty good impact blocking and does have 90 zone coverage so he's something that if you do need him to he can drop into his own and for traits uh has nothing on yes he can get edge set for zero flat zone for zero speedster or under pressure for zero ap for me i really like the card i just wish he would have got a zero ap pick artist i thought they were gonna do that because he's a wide receiver obviously i'm gonna put him a tier i just really love the physical stats for me though he just doesn't get like great ability in my opinion he is someone that i would run though if you're in like a heavy blitz type of defense if you're in a heavy blitz type of defense i totally get why you would run him because again that 99 speed getting after the quarterback i'm just saying for his actual like ability as a pass rusher i don't think he's s tier and for the last card of the video we got 99 overall ted hendricks so ted hendricks could be up to 99 speed right now with the sugar rush track card has amazing play rec great finesse moves great power moves and also great zone coverage so he's like a hybrid type of player he can play he can pass rush and he can also play zone coverage and for traits this time he has bull rush and swim move on yes and has play ball and air balance that's something i do like to look at for the coverage players now for his abilities this time this is where it gets a little bit interesting so he can get deep route ko for zero i believe he is the only linebacker in the game to get this for zero yes he is the only linebacker in the game to get this for zero obviously you would still need like a lurker or something on top of that but can also get a zero ap mid zone and zero ap acrobat like he is someone that i think if you plan to drop people off in coverage like sometimes you want to pass rush sometimes you want to drop in the coverage he's perfect so for that reason i don't think he's an s tier pass rusher but he is for sure an s tier pass coverage player in my opinion and i think he can do both really really well i just think of him more as a pass coverage player than i do a pass rusher but yeah y'all this has been my updated left outside linebacker tier list in madden 23 ultimate team let me know your thoughts down below in the comments let me know who you're rocking if you did enjoy the video though make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in madden 23 now if you want to see me use some of these cards live check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow we've been grinding the streams over there so i would greatly appreciate that now if you don't feel like heading over to twitch and you want another video to watch check this one out right here i use an ohio state theme team in madden 23